Okay. Okay, so we'll come back to this. At this point in the video, it is um, 6.15 in the video. So we go to uh, Ronald, Dr. Ronald Ng has come over to comment on me here. Let's read it cleanly. Um, I cleanly mean I try not to make too much trolling. Again, a debunk, end quote. Uh, that was a quote. Um, video, but this one is even worse than the last one. Okay, so it's worse than the last one? Okay, I did worse than this debunk than the last one. Interesting because down in his video, in his comment, he's going to say he didn't know the direction tanks in there. And then he's going to say, that it don't matter anyway. I think that's what he's implying. All right, um, even worse than the last one. Have you, not, have you nothing to do? Well, I have nothing to do. Oh, uh, no, I'm just uh, nothing to do. I'm just, uh, you know, twiddling around, you know. That my cats. Oh, wait a minute. You're a cat hater. In the video, you'll see comments. I have watched this video and some with some colleagues. So he watched it with his biased colleagues. That's cool because I showed your video to some colleagues also. And they also affirmed that, no, no, you didn't say what you stated here. And we're going to show you the point in the video, guys. With some colleagues. And we laughed on how bad it is. One even spit his drink because he laughed so hard. Like in your first attempt, this one has not a single valid point. Wow, not a single valid point, but you just told me you didn't have oxygen tanks, but then again, you disqualified it. So I guess, I guess on your side, you're right. On your side. Um, you, have mis you have misinterpreted the video at about five minute mark. There are no thickness variations that are geometric imperfections of the shell mid surface. Uh, okay, that are that. Wait a minute. There are no thickness variations that are geometric imperfections of the shell mid surface. So there are no mid surface geometric um, imperfections of the shell mid surface. Okay, just just remember that there. Now let's go back to the video. Okay, back at his video at six fifteen. So in addition, I performed a numerical analysis with geometric imperfections and I want to show the result. Okay, geometric imperfections and he wants to show the design. Let's, his own words. No. So here we have a perfect cylindrical shell. So no. Okay, so perfect, no imperfections. Perfections. And the cross section here looks like this. So and there's the cross section. That's his cross section, not mine. He identified it as his cross section perfect now it's perfect and now i add my imperfect model now he adds his imperfect model okay so now he adds his imperfect model so we're dealing with the cross section and now he says he adds his imperfect model as i zoom in you see what you know guys you know i play colombo move i can't help but if he fell for it that was the cross section. Now it's the imperfect, imperfect model. So there is no re. He's trying to rebite at the apple, saying, "Well, no, it's this. It's not that. It's this." I tell you what, you should do, Ronald, is delete the video, take some constructive criticism, and redo it. It's your own words. You can't just grab the five-minute mark. Let's grab his five-minute mark, because your your own video debunks your own video in your own video. Let's go five minutes. This is where he wants me to say that I must only look here and it will go to five right here, five minutes. We have our shell structure, apply a loading, and the loading is smaller than the expected loading. So in increments, for example, 0.2 or 20% of the loading. So I went to five minutes, or he said go to five minutes. There's a five minutes and 12 seconds. And I've got nothing. And then we apply an intendation, so displacement controlled, and measure the action force. And this process is uh, repeated until we find... Uh, okay, so now I'm at 525. Now let's go to his, his comment about five minutes. So his comment here about five minutes, it says... Uh, about the guy spitting and everything else. Okay. Um, about the fourth line down. Quote, fourth line down, or right there, you. No quote, just you, I'm just reading it. You have uh, misrepresented the video at about the five-minute mark. Period. 
Okay. There are no thickness variations that are geometrical imperfections of the shell mid-surface. There are no thickness variations that are geometric imperfections of the shell mid-surface. So your whole, di quote, discussion, unquote, has no basis and is plainly wrong. But again, there is no thickness variations that are ge geometric imperfections of the shell mid-surface. I just showed it. Let's show it again. Let's take it from here, 626. So no imperfections. As the cross section, minute, no perfections, no imperfections. Material. Right here. So, in addition, I performed a numerical analysis with geometric imperfections, and I want to show the results now. So, here we have a perfect cylindrical shell. Perfect. So, no imperfections, as the cross section here looks like this. As the cross so section. So, it's perfect. No imperfections. And now I add my imperfect model. Now I add my imperfect model. And he says there's no imperfections in the cross section internal, right? There it is right there. Right there. You, 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 you're showing it around your own around your own model. You're showing it again right there. Right there. I think a little no. Your thickness has changed. It's down here. There is no imperfect down here. There is no imperfection shown, just thinness of it. It's gotten thinner. And then up here. So you guys that you have watching your channel that are spitting coffee fall under the same category? Or are they scared to not speak up against you? Are they your underlings? Okay, for some reason they touched off here and it went like this. All right. I, and then again here. And a stutter, stutter step and then just like that. Touching off here rather. And then back again. I mean, your whole... It, it, it's... If I'm going to say that this is... there, If we're going to pick something that's the widest and it fit into a 5-inch ring. Now, I'm not saying it's a 5-inch ring, guys. It could be greater than 5 inches. Remember, they had a liner. The liner does appear to step off in a little bit. But they had a liner that they put this bond on. So, I don't really... You know, I would have to extrapolate that if... At one, the first engineer... Uh, Spencer said do 4 for 4.5 and he said make it 5 and then we have that liner that has to be able to wrap onto the liner it sounds like it's greater than a uh, greater than the 5 inches even but remember because it's greater than the 5 inches i believe so let's do this let's do let's let's do this one so here's 4.5 all right that's the uh, Spencer all right that's what Spencer says you can do i don't know if it was 6k this is question mark and then, uh, um, um, yeah, uh, 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 Rush said, give me another half. So 0 0.50 inches, right? Or equal, let's go half inch for you guys. So now we're, we're at a total of five inches. All right, so here to here is five inches. But I want you to remember that, ah, shit. I want you to remember that... That the outside of the vessel indicates that it might be greater than five inches. Remember, this is what it looks like. He has this ring, this fancy ring that, that steps down, but it also has a curl in it, right? The interface ring. It has this detail here. And then, no, that's wrong. I think it's more like that. A little bit, well, no. That last part, it's, it sort of ends right there. And I'm taking some liberty with the shape. But I'm giving you an idea of the shape. So really, you know, it's, it's like this. Okay, and then the carbon fiber is like this. And that's your total. Is this, the fi is this the five inches from here? Or is this that extra part? And he did this little part here. It became structural. It became structural, but the problem also is he did that detail. My gosh, why that detail? Why? He could, if he couldn't have beefed it, remember this interface ring is internal right here. The, uh, the one that, that, that fails, the interface ring. Not the external ring does fail, 
but the interface ring is the load bearing the critical shear zone. Um, let's finish with his insults. Let's get a little. Let's get him the rest of his insults. Uh, so let's continue right there where it says there are no thickness variations that are geometrical imperfections of the shell mid surface. Well, you just showed them. It's your own stuff. So your whole very discussion has no basis in, in this is wrong. This video is embarrassing to watch. Not to me, it's not. Because you do not understand the simplest undergraduate stuff. God, fucking fly. You cannot possibly be an engineer. All right. Well, I state you can. Well, of course you can be an engineer. And for them, anyone that says you cannot possibly be an engineer obviously has them run into the many engineers that are fucking up bridges and and just making one drop in one ball after another, or Denny Pate and the eight engineers or nine engineers that were there at the time that uh, that let one engineer railroad them. Well, this is what your railroader looks like. Your, your your attempted bully looks like. This is what it looks like. Um, okay, also you should inform yourself better to Germany that there are no PhD grads. Okay, grades rather. There are no PhD grades in Germany. So the question I ask, can I get a PhD in Germany? And under study of Germany universities, it says, as well as offering high standard of living, Germany welcomes international students with low cost of study and good funding opportunities. PhDs in Germany do not usually charge tuition fees. See below. And more than a quarter of doctoral candidates in Germany receive public funding. Huh. So it apparently they get, not only did he direct me to make me question his own question, but I find out that he don't even, they don't even, they get it, they hand it off to him. They don't work for it. They get it, they don't have to pay. Okay, what is the eligibility for a PhD in Germany? Let's do this. Okay, I pressed it there to, to, uh, to, oops, to study, ah, shit, to study a P for a PhD in Germany, you would generally need to have your completed a minimum of eight semesters of academic study. Eight semesters. The final qualification you must obtain must be equivalent to a German master's degree. Okay, the final qualification you obtain must be equivalent to a German master's degree. The final? I thought the PhD would have been the final one. That's kind of where I guess that's pre qualifications. Let's see. To study, you need to complete a minimum. Yeah, okay, here we go. Why do your PhD in Germany? Let's find out. Why do your PhD in Germany? Ah, shoot, cookies and all that. I'm going to pass on that one. So in Germany here, it says, why do you, is it difficult to get a PhD in Germany? In Germany, studying for a doctorate, primary means, and that's what a PhD is, your doctorates, means working intensely on a specific subject or research project for a long period of time. It typically takes five to six years to obtain a doctorate through the length of time. So you can watch now, now, now that you saw you can get a PhD. Now that you see you can get a PhD, and apparently he now lies. All right? Just lies. Or he's just, you know, like I said, the engineers that are just stupid out there, guys. They're just stupid. They're, they try to, instead of just saying, hey, look, I see your point there. Let's work on that. Let's do it together. Because remember, I said... Bring it on. Live chat. Not not one for one comment back and forth. Let's do a live video. You can have all your friends, the one that spit coffee and all that. Now all I'm going to bring to the table are just two of my subsea engineers. Just two of them. And, oh, I can't help it. One of them is a carbon fiber guy. So, oh shucks. I guess that's going to hurt. Going to hurt somebody on that side. But you can bring your carbon fiber guy too. It's awesome. Step them on. Bring them on. So I'll just bring two, and I'll bring myself. You can bring ten of your guys. You can put it in front of your classroom if you have one. In front of your classroom, and let the classroom debate. We do it live. We'll let everybody debate. If we see some st comments that are stupid, we can ignore them. We don't have to, you know, reply to every comment that might pop up. All right. So um, let's go with this now. Also, you should, at where the line is, also you should inform yourself better in Germany. There are no Ph.D. grades. Well, guys, he, he technically he might be right because PhDs sometimes are not graded. I already wrote that, said that in the comment. 
and to someone that I wrote there that PhD, some PhDs are not graded. You just, you know, work on it. You do your paper. You stand in front of a, a few graduate you know, uh, um, um, engineers and your professor, and you give your dissertation of uh, whatever you think you, you're, you're ready for. They literally can fine-tune it. I've participated in a couple of them. You literally can fine-tune, ask questions, and then when it's done, they're like, yeah, we'll let you know. Of course, if you put the time in, you're going to get your PhD, even though you failed it with a lot of, of a few questions. All right. Also, you should inform yourself better. In Germany, there are no PhD grades. It's Dr. Med, Dr. Math, Dr. Ing. All right. And so on. Let's go from there. So... So there are PhD. So there are PhDs in there. All right. So as we look up doctorates in Germany, it says the correct way is, I don't know how to pronounce it, doctor, doctor, engineer, or whatever it is acronym, and that's the acronym, or the Hinge Chofman, whatever that is, is the German engineering's doctorate degree. Doctorate degree, all right, but this is the acronym for this, so it's not doctor, it's it's one word, it's one word, this one, and now he's using the acronym, and you can see it's compared to the doctor of engineering, doctorate engineering, doctor of science engineering, doctor of science technology, or PhD in engineering or architecture, that's compare, comparable. Below that, it says, can I use the doctor to the DR title in Germany? It says, depending on the state in which the doctorate was awarded, degree holders may use the abbreviation DR. They may. The abbreviation germ the abbreviated German title Doctor DR with an addendum designated designating its origin or only the origin original degree, for example, PhD. Again, an addendum designated its origin. So he's using the acronym, and that would be the origin. So the dash would be your uh, well acronym, okay? It's your acronym, but in reality, I guess he should be using this word spelling this way. And, I, and no cap, so apologize for the capital. I, I'm spelling it out so I can learn it myself, unlike him. I'm willing to learn, so D-O-K, so doctor, so that's almost like the same one, so it's not, it's not this, how we see it, it's this one, and it's one word, sorry guys, I'm, I'm trying to learn it, and I'm not that fast for learning apparently, all right, Doctor Ingenura, Ingenura. I don't know. Maybe you can do a product. Maybe you can do. A, maybe one of you Germans can do a better pronunciation for me. So, this is your. Uh, this is the acronym for that. And I, I'm sorry, I paused too soon. It's interesting. I'll take note of that. But also known as Doctor, the the long version there, and that separation, Doctor. Duh. Wow, that's even longer. Wishing Shuffer thing. I don't know. You guys make fun of me for that one. You can have that's all on you. You can have fun all you want. All right, so it turns out there are PhDs, but he's stating there's no grades. So you can get your PhD with no grades. Let me look at that up. I mean, wow, that's amazing. That'd be a good place to shop your PhD if you want a PhD, guys. So diving a little deeper, I find out the origins, and it turns out the applied scientific engineering gets the, you can use the doctor with the dash hyphen ing, cannot separate them. And that's applied sciences, all right? So you may ask what implied sciences is. Applied sciences, U.S. version, is generally an engineering which develops technology, all right? So not a field guy, engineering technology. 
So is he is it's not a field guy. So what the hell would he know about analyzing uh, something if uh, apparently his deal his engineering is not the field version. So here that's the that's a shadow in the background. A German doctor is usually a research doctorate pretty much everywhere. Is awarded in the context of the so-called wow, they call it the so-called promotion that also requires a dissertation. It should not be confused with a Dutch uh, double title doctor ing. Okay, no hyphen in the Dutch version, indicating that one holds both research doctorate, a DR dot from a university and an engineering degree. ING from a Dutch polytechnic school. Okay, so research, research, research. Let's see if I got that right. So, reading his, his, uh, his, uh, uh shit. Okay, there we go. He says, um, also, you should understand that uh, you should inform yourself better, which I just did. In Germany, there, there are no PhD grades, right? No grades in doctor of medicine or doctor of math, doctor ing, and so on. So I am a doctor. Oh, no, 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 100% no. You are not a doctor. All right, 100% no. Now, now, I didn't troll him on that one at... I'm reading as I go, guys. You know, I read, give, give a quick brief, but he says he is a doctor. He is not a doctor. Per, he's a D-O-K, not a D-O-C-T-R. See? Doctor. See? Doctor. All right. Uh, let's read on. Doctor of science, doctor of, uh, and there's another spelling now. Uh, is the version, the U.S. version now. I have it in correction in the uh, in the uh, language translation, but let's find the other thing. Okay, simply put, there are no uh, just doctors, and in, uh, in Germany, it appears that they've got rid of it for the uh, doctor for M dot M D M E D, and not doctor. This is this is seems like it's re redundant, but I keep finding it searches. And the um, interesting thing is, uh, where did it go, right? So, <laughs> they've, uh, so you won't get your MD, you'll be MMED, what the Germans call the efficient uh, doctors, if not, uh, if not doctor, is merely a courtesy for title physicians. Taking England as an example, you know, bachelor's of medicine degree, not a doctorate. In fact, you are more likely to encounter a dentist with a doctorate than a physician in England. It derives from the Latin doctus, skilled labor, uh, skilled learned. Sorry. Um, so they don't even use the term doctor by itself uh, at all. They just don't use it as a term at all that I can find. So I get his point, but hell, dude. They don't even use it. You should have been more clear. If you're going to educate me, you should have been more clear. They don't even use it. And you should have used the word that you don't spell, that that you're not a doctor. You're this one. That you can use that one, but not this. This is the U.S. version for medical doctor here. All right? This is the U.S. version for medical doctor. So if you're going to use this, you are not a doctor. All right? So... If you're an engineer, as you state, you want to be very clear and precise. You can't say that you're you're a doctor and you're not a doctor. You have a doctorate, so a doc D O K T O R, spelling matters, and and the dash matters, and the rest of the detail matters behind it. If the doctor comes in your office when you're here and someone says I'm Doctor, you know Thompson, you assume that they're not they don't have a doctorate in philosophy that they're your medical doctor not your engineer walking in through the door so here he, so here he states he's a yes that he's a doctor a doctor not not the doctor is that right is this it Did I get that right so no you're wrong you're not a doctor all right you're not even a doctor in your own country like that 
using U.S. spelling words, and you should be using your words to make it clear. All right. If you like, if you like, you can read read my thesis and disprove it. Listen, it's not for me. Your 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 thesis has already been proven or allowed. I don't need to read it. It's not open for trolling, as far as I'm concerned. You have your doctor from that thesis. So who the hell am I to go about it? And you and you say anything about it. I'm nobody to go about that. If you really want me to critique it, what's the point? You're going to give up your doctorate so I find defects in it. I'm sure they found defects in it when you were being, when you were when you were putting your dissertation forward. Did you say, oh, now I don't deserve it because you found the multiple defects? How about you publish your defects in your doctorates now that you've improved over the years? I'm assuming that you're not. Well, I don't know how young you are, but now that you improved over the years, how would you? improve your doctorates go back there that's an interesting theoretical for everybody who has a doctorate how would you improve your doctorates how much embarrassment would you shake your head and hold your head low on whatever you got your doctorates in compared to what you know now that's an interesting uh thesis so do a thesis on your thesis you do it not not for me to disprove it hell as far as i know you just did it on a on a, a um, cylinder buckling right is that what you did it on cylinder or something like that? Hey, if you got your PhD to be a, to be able to talk about cylinder buckling, then good good for you. And that's like silos, guys. If you want to know like silos and things like that, I think I did see one of your because YouTube shared it. One of your uh, when they invited you, and I saw a little piece of it. I, I wasn't interested to watch watch it all. Maybe I should have watched it all. I just found it, you know, kind of boring. Because farmers know what you know about your cylinder buckling with your with your silos and all that. Farmers are they know before the engineers know what's going on with their with their metal towers. And it's just sizing guys. Look, it's just fucking ribs going up. Most of them are just ribs. They overload them, metal fatigue, and then they, they buckle and then they collapse. It's that's the long term effect. Some of them are soil related, you know, but the ones that buckle up here, it's, whether, he, whether he states it or not, it's just metal fatigue, it's heat, it's um, sometimes the wrong metal. They do a long, they do a tall ass tower and they try to hold it in a band, a tension band. Sometimes you get some breakage in that or thinning of the material because of your, uh, your whatever you're filling it with. All right, your thinning of your walls get thinned. Um, you get overloading on sometimes your, your materials overload one side of your cylinder. Now that creates a lopsided effect. Again, farmers know this shit. Farmers know this. This doesn't take great engineering. Farmers can go in there and go, oh, it looks like we got some deterioration in a wall here. Let's see what we can do here. And then you'll see them put exterior straps around their, their, uh, their, uh, silos. So farmers that PhD, you know, no offense, but that PhD, hell, I, farm, a lot of farmers deserve a PhD in, uh, in cylinder buckling, silo buckling. Okay, now you got the Dr. Ng, okay, so that now we've learned that that's le legit that way. I never said it wasn't legit. I just said, you know, you, you, know, you must have got it handed to you. And it turns out that, shit, you guys don't even pay, apparently. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's an old... Old document, hell, you know, just call me jealous on that one. Uh, all right, and so on. So, yes, I am a doctor. Again, you're not a doctor, all right? This is what you have to use. It states so in, your, in, the, in the document there. If you don't like, like it, you can read my thesis and disprove it. No. And regarding the videos where the interface rings fracture, that was the way I show them. If his interface ring fracturing, guys... Um, this was my first model in a low yield strength. No, 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 dude. No, 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 no. I'm not. All right, guys. So I can, I, I, I'm willing to do live and then I can give them the debunk on that, the big debunk. But no, I'm not giving it up in this one. No, no, no. And if all these guys chuckled and spit up drinks and all this shows that, you know, they're just not intelligent, not intelligent. Prove, tell them to come here, and without using, without using the uh, finite element program to do the, this is what you must see, without using cartoonery, 
tell me exactly what's going on. No cartoonery. You know, that's what I call finite element programs. All right, now, I'm like Papa Smurf. He doesn't know who Papa Smurf is. He's an engineer, 80-something years old. He did the FIU bridge. Not FIU bridge. Uh, I think he did actually dip in there for a minute. He did the Champlain Towers collapse. He's doing the Iowa collapse. He's done quite a few things. And he's also a finite element hater like me. You know, finite element's pretty. Um, and I think some of the programs are awesome where you can where they you can do skyscrapers with them. I think they're awesome, but you still need to go over every connection, every thought process of the of the finite element program to see where it made a mistake because it always makes a mistake. The finite element programs always make a mistake. Humans need to do more load testing and not just finite element testing and saying it's going to work. This was done by finite element testing by um, initially by Spencer Composites. So if you have your PhD, which you say you do, or doctor, right? Doc, D-O-K-T-O-R. Then you should know that you should go, since you don't know, you should know, now you know, that you should find out what program Spencer Composite uses. You can write them and ask them, right? That's what people tell me. You can just write people and just ask them. I've seen it. Of course, the guy can tell you to go pack sand. You can find out what he might use. He might reveal it in his websites. Now, if he's watching, he was going to probably delete that shit. But you might better see it through extrapolation through by seeing some of his modeling and go, ah, I know which program this is. That's the program you can you can rent. You can get these programs, as you know, on a loaner for free, just for a two-week trial. And you can try his program and see where he came up with it. That's the one that would, would demand respect from your programming, but you're using a, a program that's not what he used. All right? And then you're putting in defects that don't exist. And we don't know how he used it. If you want to share, I see you sharing your your uh your your files well you would want spencer composite to share the files so you can go through that let's go on if you don't like it you can be ready we better depart and regarding the video where the interface rings fracture this is my first model i don't give a fuck if it was your first model all right i do a long series to get to people where they're going to teach them where they're going you made a conclusive file a conclusive file said this is it you presented it that one alone is defective. Even if you didn't have the interface rings failing, still defective. If you want to do a live video, I can show you where it's defective. You can bring your people in. I tell you what, you can make it one-on-one, -on -one and you can just listen to me explain why it's defective. We will do it live. If you need to do it privately because you don't want to be embarrassed, write me. All right? We'll do it. We'll do it. I'll do one for you. Since you just seem to be triggered and going off, I'll give you one, I'll give you one 30 minute session on the house. One 30 minute session. If you're done, when I say on the house, if you're done and you now see what you learned, feed my cats because you hate you just like my cats down here. You stay about my cats. If you're done and you see my the light up the light at the end of my tunnel, feed my cats. And I tell you what, I'll keep it secret. I won't even out you about feeding my cats. I won't out you, but you'll feed my cats. You'll send me a, send me a two care packages, two two nice care packages, the double one. Don't cost you fifty bucks. That's all it's gonna cost. Uh, no, cost you uh, thirty bucks. That's all it's gonna cost you, and I won't even tell. But you got to write something nice in the comments too. Not like you're a cocksucker. I mean, you could, and then send the cats. As long as the cats get food, I don't care. Let's read on. Um, and regarding the video where the interface ring fractures. That was my first model in a low yield strength of 240 MPA, which apparently was not the material they used. All right. So you're saying that you did a model and you could see that it, it did it, the model didn't make sense with what they were actually bringing out of the fucking ocean. They brought it up. All right. So you can't argue, you can't, you can't use that as well. That was my first attempt. They are before your model and they already brought the damn thing up. They already recovered it. They recovered the materials. You don't have the ability to put it together. The, the clues are all there. The clues are all there. 
If you watch the rest of my video, you'll get the rest of the clues. They're all there. And then you'll have to, it debunks your model. For example, the debris field. It's not where you have it, all right? It's not the way you have it. Your debris field, frankly, sucks. The people that spit up their coffee, I hope they don't work for you. I hope they're not doing engineering. I hope they're doing something, you know, soft engineering, like how to do pavements, and they're really good about how to do pavements. Because that debris field, the debris field clearly cannot happen with your model. All right, let's go from here. All right. Uh, the debris field, for you guys don't know, is about 1,000 feet apart. It's like 900 and some, 960 feet apart, maybe. It's huge. That's a mega debris field, which puts the debris field that... Is there, there's a possibility that the sub was up here, right? And they dropped the gears, and here's the gear. We needed to see it mapped out. So this is only speculation. And here's the landing gear. It just it goes straight down, right? The carbon fiber. It does some... Like dropping a coin in a, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a in a jar. Sometimes it leans in... You know, if you've seen remember the jar, jar, big pickle jar, and you... They put a little glass down here. If you drop a quarter in here and it lands in there, you get a free pickle or whatever the hell it is. Well, some that coin just does all types of shit. Never lands straight down, all right? So the same thing with this. This is going to be some deviation. But let's say it implodes up here, and let's say it implodes at, at um, 500 feet below the water surface. All right, so 500 feet, we get the coin, the coin effect. Can we get that over there? Can we get a, the a lid over here, the tail cone over here, and, and, and well, this guy calls this the tail cone, the one guy. Not, not you, but the tail cone over here. And can we get the a, uh, rear aft um, end cap over here? Can we do that? You know, can we, where, where, where the hell are they? If they're further apart, if they're further apart, you know, we just need to see the debris field. I need to see it because there's too many variables here for me. It drives me crazy to do this. Then we have the electrician stating that um, they had ROV, a remote ROV. When he left, the ROV to go down and unt to untangle this vessel if it got tangled into the uh, a net or something. Apparently, the, they didn't have an ROV. So now we're talking about budget. I'll get to the rest of his comment. It's insulting, but we're, we're just, you know, we're, we're going to ignore the insult. He's not the first person to insult me. So uh, I'm sure he won't be the last. So the, we got a budget problem because they had an ROV per the electrician. Why didn't they send down an ROV to check? They're supposed to use sonar to track them in to the sub. They said this sub, submersible, has no sonar. Now we look at the vessel. And this vessel, this uh, whatever it's called, it states that it doesn't have sonar per public record currently, or back then when it was published, published current record, that it didn't have, that I could find, that it didn't have sonar that went that deep. And if it didn't have sonar that deep, how the hell were they finding this, this, uh, this, this uh, um, Titan, this uh, Titanic? How were they finding it? They were just fucking going down, turning on their lights and... Going, looking around in the fucking dark until they found it. I know they're supposed to have some type of like micro sonar, you know, which you can get on like boats and stuff like that. But that, that that's a conflict I'm having. Let's get back to it. Um, okay, so he states here that in regard to the video where the interface rings fracture, that's with an E. We spell it with an E. Yeah, that's cool. This way, this was my first model. And low yield strength of 240 MPA. I think that was your third model. Your second model, right? Which apparently was not the material they used. If a higher yield strength is selected, the rings are mostly intact. This is, uh, the rings are mostly intact. Not the interface ring. Alright, this is the whole thing is interface ring, but there's an outer ring. Interface ring. This is where they glue. All right. This is this is you. This is what enticing you to contact me, and let's do a let's do a Skype thing, and that's that. Okay. Now let's go on to the insult somewhere down here. Uh, 
Uh, I slept the ring today and didn't know there was some. Oh, also, I didn't know. Let's get to this. What the fuck is insult? A good advice. You should rename your channel Forensic Cats or something. Hey, okay. Forensic Cats or something. Do I add the something part or do I leave it out? All right. So I love my cats. So what do you guys think? Should I rename my channel Forensic Cats? It, did the troll actually lose and we name it Forensic Cats? You know me, guys. I like trolling. Nobody trolls me better than troll. So I'll, I might rename the channel for a moment Forensic Cats. You know how I am. You can't, you can't troll me, man. I'm, I'm much stronger than that. I'm built stronger than what you, can, what you have there. Uh, you give engineering a bad name otherwise. Wait, so wait a minute. But if I name it Forensic Cats or something, I won't give it a bad name? All right, I don't want to give engineering a bad name, so I'm going to name a channel Forensic Cats or something. Let's be clear. I'm the one outing bad engineering. I am outing it. Let's be very clear about outing bad engineering. I am outing it. I am not, you know, sucking up to it. I'm trying to, because I got an eight-year-old watching now. I, I got to be nice with my language, because um, I don't want to discourage her or teach her bad words from one of the viewers that an eight-year-old's watching Quite a few people said, don't curse, don't curse. Ah, but no one's ever said they had an eight-year-old watching. So, an eight-year-old girl. So, nope. So, I'm going to limit the cursing down. Um, good, a good advice for you, you should rename your channel. Look, what do you base this on? I need to know. I need to know. Is this going to get me out of shadow banning if I name it Forensic Cats or something? Or maybe you don't mean that part and I'm trolling you. It's forensic Cats. Or should I just, I thought Clown Show or, you know. What a waste of time. How to waste your energy. How you waste your energy on a daily basis. I thought of a lot of things trolling back. People, you are new to the channel. But people have seen reiterations of my name, my channel. Having fun. You know, the YouTube shadow ban channel. So, you you were doing nothing. You did with your comment. It's, 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 it's already there. Again, the very last part. You give engineering a bad, a bad name otherwise. Just so you could just say bad name. All right, because I do, I, I I do give engineering a bad name. I talk about it left and right. Well, here's the bad engineering here. Here's the bad engineering here. They are here, making me think of the guy that spoke up that said, "Don't worry about it. We'll fix their wall for Champlain Tower South." He did say wall. All right, he said wall. He did not say the the one the 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 the, the, the piling below it, the sheep piling, and all that. He's referencing the wall. If it vibrates the wall a bit, then no big deal. But he got he got shit canned for that. He got, he said, "Oh, that's a smoking gun." No, in in reality, he said wall. Denny Pate, I shoot the hell out of Denny Pate in the FIU bridge collapse. I beat him up left and right, and then I tell you how genius his simplicity of his system is, using post tensioning in the bridge but keeping it all in compression, so there is no deflection. The problem is part of his contract says it must be redundant. And I put the two there for redundant. It must have a secondary system, a redundant system. And so instead of sticking to his guns about this system working this way, he w he switched up and said the trust system are, is the redundant system. And if you saw his trust system, it was shitty. It was raggedy. But I will say the nodal area is pretty much held together. So his nodal areas that he called blisters, they were friggin' awesome. Now, could he put it back to the way it was? He could not. He could not recover that. He should have supported it. He was bullied by... He was bullied by... Uh, he bullied... Bullied. He was not bullied. He Maybe he was. But he bullied the rest of the engineers there. All right? They give engineering a bad name. You making a defect, a defective model, um, gives engineering a bad name. I... I'm still ta talking about the, uh, you know, possibilities of this and that. Now, you state that you didn't know that there were oxygen bottles. Where the hell is that here? Um, right here under also. Right below this one, guys. Also, didn't know. Come on. Now, you know you're supposed to say I, but it might be the amygdala, guys. He, he might not be up to speed, the amygdala. 
So it's hard to say I, okay? Because it would be admitting fault. So you leave out the word subconsciously, the word I. I figure he can grammatically grammatically say I. He's got his doctorates, right? So you know you know a little bit of grammar, and then you're going to tell me, well, they don't say I in uh, in uh, in uh, Germany. Hell, that might be true for all I friggin' know. But he's writing the language. Okay. Also, I, how bad it is, didn't know there were some oxygen bottle tanks. Unless they are structurally important, they are not. Unless they are structurally important, they are not. I do not need to model them. Okay. All right. So this is you digging your heels in that you don't need to model them. Do you have any idea since you're the cylinder man, remember? You're the cylinder expert. Turn your oxygen bottle onto it where you could, what you see is a cylinder standing up. What's the what's the buckling of the cylinder? What's the buckling of it? Because you have your sub merciful in a cylinder mode, right? That's all you did. Pull it in cylinder mode, kept your cap on the end. Yeah, I know about end points and all that, but it's not my job to say it. You didn't say it, so fuck it. I'm not uh, apologize to the little girl. So I'm not saying it. Anyway, your, your, your failure of carbon fiber is incorrect. I've already published why it's incorrect. Your failure of carbon fiber. Your method. Again, you can do this live. You can bring your friends. I'll just bring two. And we can do it live in front of everybody. Or you can, you can do it privately. You will owe me. Once I show you, you will owe me two, at least two cans of cats. I, if you do the two cans of cats and I receive it, I will remove two of my videos. The two, well, this is three. I will remove all three videos for the love of my cats. I will not name my channel the um, Forensic Cats. I don't know. It's kind of cool. The cats, you, you, hey, cat woman, tell them about the cats, how they, uh, they knew about that damn, uh, the inspections and all that. I tea my cats. I love my cats. I don't know if you love animals or not, but that's just that's just ridiculous to attack animals, dude. Because people love cats and people love animals. That's that's bad taste on your part. All right. Um, so I'm ending this with the bottle thing. Let's go with the bottle thing again. What does it? The bottle is designed to hold about the, the failure somewhere about ten thousand psi. They put about twenty one hundred. Sometimes you can get it. Guy overfilling the tank up to 2300. They do have a valve on here that will release pressure. But this is about a 10k psi explosive exter, you know, that it can take force this way. All right, this is a pretty serious bottle. What is the ability to crush one of these bottles? What is the buckling of one of these bottles? We have four of them in as we look up uh, bird's eye view for you guys down here. We have four bottles that are in a Appears to be presented as um, maybe carbon fiber printed out. Um, not carbon fiber. Yeah, it could be carbon fiber or pressed um, pressed uh, um, floor four bottles. Yeah, two on each end, and they slide in with this rib cage. That's, this could be pressed. Car. It could be a whole bunch of things. Shit, um, but. It's, uh, the bottles are in there. These bottles have very limited, um, um, space between them. Now, could these bottles by chance in a failure mode bump into each other and they become a force multiplier? Sure. They take their 10,000 PSI. They're able to take force. Can they become a force multiplier even without the, the, uh, the, uh, severing of this? They become these these rams as it, as it happens. They become a ram. They can have all types of configuration during failure mode. Let's clean that up. During during failure mode, uh, uh, that that sudden failure mode, and there's the shell. Let's say the carbon fiber is not there. They can they can have all types of failure, and there's four of them. All types of things going on. Hell, they could have butted and made a, a you know. They could have jammed together and made almost one as one pushed into the other. And then we have a singular, basically singular with the buckling point being right there still. I'd still argue that's where they would deflect away. And then what would they do? You know, what would they? What would their reaction be to the titanium end rings? 
We don't know that. We need we need to see the end rings. We need to see titanium end rings. Do these have uh, carbon fi carbon my mm, I'm being um um co talk here. Carbon life form on them. Do they have carbon life form connected to them? Um, and you guys know what I mean by that. Um, there's four bottle, but he he says that they don't friggin' matter. They don't count. Um, I'm sorry, I shouldn't use the word that word that word friggin' either. Right, I don't want you to have talking code to the little eight year old girl. I don't want you talking in code with cursing. All right, so the um, the tanks. He says, I know there were some oxygen tanks. Oh wait a minute. Well, I, I, he didn't say that. Also, didn't know, did not know, there were oxygen tanks, and and unless they are structurally, structural important, they are not. Okay. I do not need to model them. Okay. All right. So, they, are, they don't count. They don't count. So, what do you guys say? How many engineers out there say that you can discount these in your formula that these tanks can be can be can be thrown away that you don't have to count them in the in this failure action well we don't know the debris field for one so he he's just using his amygdala to try to say they don't count but the uh tanks okay let me look to do it showing you double dipping here one is they're even, and this one's showing the tanks being driven being driven in. The tanks are not for free. These tanks are not for free. Now the problem is, uh, Doctor uh, Wagner, D O K T O R, not this doctor, is that you just can't throw away stuff because it's inconvenient. You can't throw it away. And now how about your second model, your last model, where you show the implosion, but this time the lens is able to last for the last, all the way out to the last moment. How come you discount, how come you don't talk about that? Hey, Shadow, that's another one of my cows, cats. Maybe uh, call my cat Dr. Wagner. Dr. Wagner, come here. <whistles> Doctor. Nah, Shadow doesn't move. And so... Dr. Wagner, if I'm saying your name correctly, see, Wagner, yeah. Dr. Engineering Ronald Wagner, I think you have to use the engine. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to, Dr. Ng, uh, yeah, you do it with the abbreviation so I can. You have one side of this crushing in. We have tanks in there. You said the tanks don't matter. Let's watch the tanks not matter in your own model. Line is indicator. You, you you have to look at my amygdala theory. Once you learn that, you'll learn that why you have an issue with the tanks not battering. Why you have to get rid of them now because they're in your way. They're in your way of your failure. Dreams of uh, bullshittery. Uh, I was trying to be nice. All right, so you have your lens coming out now at the last moment. You've got no tanks there. Okay, here we go. So we have tanks here, guys. We've got we've got. Two tanks, all right? We've got two tanks. Two tanks. All right, so I've already just proven that he said that it was not the in the ring part that he was, uh, that it was a, uh, uh internal issue he was showing. Whatever it was. In, uh, I got to look at that again. Let's just look at this now. See how he has a shrinking on one, at, one side? It just collapses and shrinks on one side. At this point, we got water coming in. We've got an inrush. That cap, the cap here, should be gone. All right, let's pause right there. Shit. All right. This cap should be history. Should be gone. This cap here, inrush, all that pressure, this cap should be saying goodbye to the world. This one too, because he separated them already. And that inrush, there we go, torpedo system. All right, torpedo one way or another, whether it be down, in, however the failure happens. Um, but he has it squeezing in the, in the uh, well, this one squeezes that way, a little bit lopsided. 
it's going to be the failure on this one's going to be near the ends all right i've already did the bias on that don't get me wrong i'm still angry over this connection here <sighs> could it have been climbing like that and then the load sheared off the connector here you know that that's amazing remember he, he removes the sub so all the people giggling and spilling coffee how do they handle this the rest of my videos where i show this in great shape well they handle it by having the end cap stay stationary and move inwards or stay stationary and they only have this one moving that's how they handle it just like magic right now the inrush would force that outside cap with the computer systems all inside here still computer system beautiful stuff and beautiful because of the shape of it and let's go i said i wouldn't do another video but this is a complimentary okay right now he's got four bottles in there that just aren't in there anymore they're just where are they when did they fall down because you're close enough now where those bottles didn't disappear they didn't eject through your carbon fiber you're saying they don't matter i don't see them shooting out through your carbon fiber or through the floor down here and disappearing all right so they matter now you're going to have to go back to your formula you're going to have to figure out what it takes to compress that bottle whatever that bottle is you know i don't think it's carbon fiber um i think it's because carbon fiber and since you are you know young you're young carbon fiber and oxygen guys they don't love each other so this thing's got to love a not line have, have to have a liner in there that's complete or the pure oxygen that the electrician state that's in there if you do your research pure oxygen and carbon fiber are not lovers they are not lovers they are not friends and the same thing with your um they're not lovers so you're making this pure oxygen environment in there with the scrubber of course and the alpha gassing of the humans but it it's it's not a lover so you've got to have you got to have some protection on that on against that carbon fiber against the oxygen so as dr ing states over here that these bottles sorry let me get make the screen bigger so you don't have to look at my music or other bearing research get it bearing research so dr dash ing i don't know how to do that dr ing ronald states these bottles don't count this strapping doesn't count doesn't count it's inconvenient yes we do have a deterioration there all right but they don't count now that remember they had to fix that over there maybe you know i was waiting for someone to say maybe they just placed it there for the photograph and they didn't screw it down yet well they they look they look like they uh they had them buttoned down because here's one without a screw right here and i saw buttons in those so place down just just place down without screws looks like that place down with screws look like that and that looked like it had the button in it i could be wrong you know maybe i don't know i nah it had the button in it all right so these bottles do have some separation remember i talked about that but during this compressive failure since he's the cylinder man you want me not to de uh, debunk your paper i'm saying you go debunk your paper if you want to learn from it you debunk your own paper so here's your cylinder that you like cylinder buckle or here's a cylinder here and here with a gap between it what's going to happen what's going to happen with it with a cylinder one and cylinder two when they drive to when they when they come in contact with each other through your end cap failure they're going to cause this to shear off because you've got it coming directly directly towards each other i'm sorry i think you have one now moving anyway they impact these impact there is no space you're showing upon impact you made a you made a different torpedo and the pressure may or may not be the two of them together failing one failing two we need to see the damn bottles all right so it's just speculation if we see the bottles with these missing with these missing ends off we know they impact it and then dr ing will have to do a new video and say oh my gosh i need to accept that i am not as smart as i think i am that i need to learn i need to educate myself more and um and and bow down 
to to other people's knowledge. Listen, I'm not telling you to bow down to me, but to to listen. As this old man taught me once, he hears everybody else out, everyone out, because you never know. You just might be you just might be missing a good joke. All right. So the worst case is you're going to hear a good joke or miss a good joke. In this case, there is no way that anybody, any sound engineering, would say it's not a possibility of these two colliding in a compressive force of the of the of the implosion the way you have it driving into each other or one end driving there there's no way in hell that these tanks don't um have a failure or compress that these that these valves aren't 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 shredded aren't torn the hell apart or driven into part and maybe turned into a missile both of them before the pressure inside is uh able to neutralize whatever action they're able to create you made this uh, action, not me. Me, I'm, I'm stuck and stupid with the damn rear end being in perfect shape here. The one connection. That's my stuck and stupid mode. You're stuck and stupid with, I'm going to drive this to the back end and I'm going to eliminate this. This is, this is inconvenient. I'll eliminate the back altogether. Oh, and now you're eliminating the bottles. So here's in that video, the one you, you you hit me on. This one here is what we're looking at. Um, that these valves aren't designed to be in compression. Or to be smashed together times two. They're not designed for that. But I show myself purging, opening this. And showing that they don't just take off on their own. You, if you have an explosive shop of them, which I have a video on. then you can And you can find it on YouTube. You'll see that these things can take off. Again, if the pressure comes in um, to the point where this is not a protected spot, if you will, then it might mount to nothing. Or the pressure themselves, the pressure, inrush pressure themselves can create the torpedo action of this um, steel, cha steel chamber. Again, they take 10,000 internal pressure going external. So this thing is immensely strong. Have you ever seen somebody shoot them um, for YouTube channels? When they shoot them, they blow a hole, they blow gas out, but they don't like exploding like just in the parts and shred. You get a hole, you get a fire. So this thing would, would these are recoverable. I'm betting 80, 98% that they're recoverable. That they did not, even with this great implosion, that they because of their shape, did not disintegrate. That 98%, eh, I changed it to 99%. Why did I go up? They brought the rings up, the titanium end rings, including the end caps. I'm at 99% on these too. So, in conclusion, long ass vid, ooh, ooh, sorry, sorry for the eight year old, long video. Um, do I name my channel the cat, cat forensic, forensic cats? Do I name it uh, uh, Forensic Cats? All right. With that said, I don't have a cat video, but I'll do something live showing you Shadow. Oh, she threw up. What the hell did she eat? I guess she won't be showing Shadow throwing up. She could throw up some wet food. Uh, so, so much for that. Maybe I'll give you, uh, let me see what's outside. I'm at the house there. I'm doing some welding. I've been practicing on aluminum. I've been, I'm always, pra I call it practicing because aluminum is so, so such a tricky beast. It seems like you never master it. You just get better at it. But um, actually heat. So if you guys ever weld aluminum, um, heat is your friend. You think the opposite. You know, no, no, you make a cold weld and heat. So here's a trick. Too much heat, you burn through the aluminum. Okay, that's too much. Dial back from burning through and to the point where you're not burning through and you can keep your speed up. You create it, you... you, you You've, you've got a, a nice, strong aluminum weld roughly about then, but I also do tensile strength breaking to see how strong that theory is. So that's pretty much my rough idea. Now let's cut to Bruce. He's on, he's on his bed, so I'll give you a shot of Bruce. Hold on. So if I don't say it loud enough, this is Bruce. This is his bed. Now if I say it loud enough, he'll say something. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Bruce. Bruce, let's see if he should, he should talk. He's a talker. Bruce. Bruce. 
He's like, you're looking through an iPad, dude, or whatever the hell this is. I can't see your face. Hey, Bruce. All right. There we go. That's better. All right. Dr. Ng says he loves cats. He's not, he's not a cat hater. He wouldn't hate cats, would he? Would he be a cat hater? Would he be a cat hater? Who doesn't love cats? Who doesn't love cats? Would he be a cat hater? Remember, Dr. Ng, you do the private phone presses with me. You learn from it. You do a correction video yourself. You don't have to count me in if you don't want to. And I'll delete all... Well, not this one. This is a good video. Ah, it's negotiable whether I delete this one or not. But I'll delete the other two. You hit me on the uh, Skype and I'll show you. I'll tell you what else is going on that you're missing. And you can get your giggling friends to get on a three-way phone a three-way phone call. And we can do a, uh, a live one also. That, that can be another option. One might be a little more embarrassing than the other. Your choice, your call. You get to, you get to embarrass me too. But the thing is, nobody can embarrass me because I always learn. I'm always in learn mode. So if I find out that, oh, no, that I missed something, I go, ooh, I see it now. Thank you. I don't delete it. I don't delete the data just because it's inconvenient. Right? Yeah. I'm not a prosecuting attorney where I just throw away evidence. All right, guys. Love you. Hope you enjoy the content. Uh oh